of all the silly season movements, I think your move to techno was definitely the surprise packet. How long was a move on the cards for? Having um, really time left on a contract with Erebus, I certainly didn't even think about it. Um, you know, I was 200% committed um, to Erebus. I've put my heart and soul into the past two seasons. And um, obviously there, there were some times where I started asking some questions as to, right, how are we going to take this next step next year and beyond? Because I went there with um, some pretty big statements and some pretty big things sort of um, promised to me which really made me believe that by year three we were going to be championship contenders and um, you know a lot's changed in the last few years people have left um, and yeah probably things haven't quite gone to plan from their front and um, yeah it's been uh, been a tricky few months where I was probably being made to feel like possibly I was a little bit of a financial burden on the team and uh, sort of a couple of people that we knew that had come in had sort of made that clear to me and uh, I felt obviously quite uncomfortable in that situation and it led to a discussion with Betty and listen she was absolutely awesome um, she really wants me to succeed and um, probably acknowledges that you know she'd probably do things a little bit differently now and uh, they're going through another rebuilding phase themselves and for me at my stage right now um, uh, you know I feel these next two years are, are my absolute peak I feel like I'm driving better than ever and uh, I need need to be in a car that's going to enable me to challenge for a championship. Will Davison has responded to the critics in the best possible way. Cop that. He wins the UBET <laughs> Perth Super Sprint. So what was or is most appealing about the opportunity with Techno? They're obviously a great little team. You know, um, Steve Hallam at the helm is, um, I think, someone we all we all look up to with his, with his history in the sport. And... Um, yeah, it's amazing some of his background and what he's achieved and some of the people he's worked with. And um, Listen, as I said, I think it's a pretty simple team. There's a great engineer there, there's great mechanics. Uh, John O. Webb's a good mate of mine. And, and listen, they're pretty motivated to, uh, to grow themselves as a brand and as a business. And I think they're pretty excited um, with what I can bring to the table there as well and, and really help that whole brand itself and team grow. And their on-track results speak for themselves. Are you looking forward to being a bit of a Lone Ranger next year? Uh, it's, it's going to be different, but uh, as I said, I think it's nearly nearly the perfect way to go because uh, you need the equipment, you need the support in this game, and, and they've got that, but you also need a strong team. You need an incredibly close bond, and uh, sometimes big teams, that can get lost. You know, the key thing, which is team, and teamwork can get lost with, with politics, and uh, you know, people not, not getting on and lack of direction and, and lack of communication. And it's very tricky, there's only a few teams that can manage that. And um, when you've got a small team, but with obviously great neighbours, um, you can nearly put those two together into a, a pretty uh, formidable force. Can you win a championship with Techno? Uh, absolutely, absolutely I can. Um, you know, as I said, I've been, I've been second, I think I've been third on you know, a couple of occasions in the series, and uh, they were runner-up last year. And, uh, and this year they've, they've showed how quick they can be and, and what a good team they can be. So um, absolutely no doubt about it that um, we, can, we can be champions.